Good morning everyone. I am starting out at Tennessee 91 here. There's a little parking lot and I'm across the road and I'm getting ready to start up. Uh, it's a beautiful morning. So glad that it is not <clears throat> rainy like they said it was going to be for my start. So looking forward to a great day. I just got dropped off by rabbit in the rabbit hole. So the trail goes this way. <clears throat> And he was really cool. He through hiked, did a flip flop, and I finished in 2017. But he's got a little hostel nearby. So here we go. Oh, look at this. So, one of the things he told me has encouraged me for today is that this is called the, I think he called the Tennessee Turnpike, because <laughs> it's such a relatively easy section of the Appalachian Trail, almost the easiest, he said. If you can hear that bird singing right on the edge of the barn. Goodbye to the open fields. That point is six miles in. Now we go into the woods. Right. Gotta love the AT. So I just had second breakfast at, I think it's the McQueen's Knob Shelter, um, which is a little more than three miles into my hike, and got to talk with a through hiker who started in February. His name is Perfect. So he was very friendly. And nice to chat with him. I'm sure he will pass me later. He's going all the way to Damascus today. And so trail is nice. I think the climb up to here was probably the hardest that I will experience on this hike and it was not bad at all. So this is a really nice section of trail. Like Rabbit told me, not a lot of rocks, not a lot of roots. 
soft hardwood forest here. And so pushing on. So glad I get the chance to just come out for a quick overnight section. This is such a blessing to me to be able to do this, to get out here, to get away, to clear my head. Work has been hard but good. And, uh, as much as I absolutely love my clients and love helping them and working with them through really hard stuff, this is my escape from it all. I get to refresh my soul, clear my mind, just feel my body and the freedom it has to move and to just climb over mountains. So amazing I get to do this. can't help but be in a state of mind of appreciation when I'm out on the trail. What a pretty section. You can kind of see the mountains through the trees. Just checked and I've been walking almost I think, a little more than four and a half miles for the day and I think it's a little after 10 a.m. so doing really good. I have a strange new sound when I walk though you probably can't hear it with the video but my altas when I'm going downhill now squeak. kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, I still enjoy the down. The uphill though, it's it's quiet. It doesn't make that noise, but on the downhill and on the level, it's doing the squeak with every time I step on my right foot. Oh, look over there. So pretty. So, <clears throat> Maybe these shoes are already worn out. They say these don't last as long, and I know these have had a little more than 100 miles on them, but <clears throat> that still seems too small for as expensive as they are. But they do help me not get blisters, so I have to buy new shoes every 100 or two miles. Ah, oh, that's Shady Valley. Let's see if we can zoom in. I drove through there on my way here and took a picture of the ridge line that I'm currently walking on. So I will post that picture in the video. You can see this whole ridge line that I'm walking. Uh, I appreciated that Rabbit was telling me things like, oh, that's where you'll be walking and that's a good spot to stop and you'll be able to see the valley from there. <laughs> so. I love having a local shuttle driver be able to tell me all the good viewpoints. Oops, I went the wrong way. And what I'm looking at, I would not have known. That's Shady Valley. So, all right. Gotta stop to smell the pines. Mm. All right, we're gonna show you what I do. Really close. Ah, oh, that smells so good. All right, I am about 5.4 miles into my hike. I am sitting on a little tiny peak. Uh, well, right next to it, that's the peak right there. And it goes down. And I'm doing some foot care. Um, getting a little hot spot down on the side. 
there and uh, so I'm just gonna bandage that up and put my lamb's wool there to make sure it doesn't turn into anything bad but there's a lake way down there I don't know what water source that is but it's really big it's really pretty if anybody knows they can leave it in the comments below so that I know where I am uh, that is the western side of this ridge the opposite side of this ridge is more Shady Valley down that way. All right, let me put my shoes on and get going. So, yes, for the most part, this has been a good, nice trail, but it's still the AT. We still have little climbs up and down, up and down. But we do have longer segments of ridge walking here. But don't be fooled, it is still the AT. And you still will get out of breath. At least I will. All right, that's where I'm headed. Oop. Not too bad. I stopped for water at the last spring um, that I'll have until sometime tomorrow because I am not going to hike down from Abington Gap Shelter. They said it's really steep and like a half mile round trip and I don't feel like adding that to my day. So I stopped at the last spring and it was icky. It was really hard to get water. Um, but I am loaded up. It just took me a long time so I'm behind schedule now probably by like an hour heard there's trail magic up ahead so that might slow me down too but that's okay I'm still doing high miles like most ever probably today it's uh going on two o'clock I guess so I still have plenty of daylight hours left I'm just gonna let myself go slower and get to where I need to go so I don't hurt myself tomorrow so just that is the plan for now I'm definitely a cold weather hiker. Uh, I'm sweating today and I'm getting sunburnt. <laughs> but that's okay. Alright, so this is McQueen's Knob Shelter. Uh, the one I stopped at this morning for breakfast was actually called Double Springs. I got them mixed up. So I'm just passing by this one. I originally planned to eat lunch here, but I ate lunch when I was getting water. Who's on by? Hi, it is a little bit after four o'clock. I have hiked a little more than 13, maybe 13 and a half miles, and I'm almost to a site that I had planned to stop at, but I think I'm going to push past it another two miles, or if I find something else before the two miles, just to give me a little shorter day tomorrow. So, this has uh, been, again, since Abington Gap, it's been a lot more... Um, 
gentle up and down level. So my pace has picked back up again. And there's a nice breeze, but it's still hot out. And uh, I'm gonna show you my hands. They are swollen and red. I don't know if that's sunburn or if it's just red. They are hot, hot, hot. But it's been a good day. Uh, this is de definitely officially my longest mileage in a day. Uh, so that's pretty cool. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder why I'm doing it when I'm tired and I'm sore, but uh, it always replenishes itself right around like the next corner. I actually had trail magic today. I don't know if I already mentioned that or not. Got to meet um, a really cool a trail angel that I will talk about this evening when I read her poem that she gave me. I think I've seen her poems in a shelter before, so it was nice to meet her in person. And she was very kind, was giving out. She had a trunk full of stuff. She was giving out food and drinks to hikers that pass by. And she does this all the time. So it's very cool. All right, well, I'm gonna put this away, pick up my face again. <sighs> well, I made it 14.6 miles today. That is my most ever miles on the AT in one day. And I have not even completely set up my camp, but my bear bag line is thrown and my hammock is up. There's a lot of like black flies and gnats and those black flies are biting. So I am just getting a reprieve here in my dug net, bug net and resting. So, wow, what a day. I think I said, I don't remember. I have like six miles to go into town in the morning. So I'll get that done pretty quick and then get home, get ready for Easter and all that stuff. But I'm just, thinking about my day and um, I don't even know what to say. I'm tired. Can you tell I'm tired? 14.6 <sighs> miles. Wow. It was beautiful. It was not a very hard section, but it, it wasn't flat um, by any means. It definitely has its ups and downs. Um, my pace was pretty good except for my stops were longer than I usually stop and that's because there's a lot of through hikers right now so I was chit chatting a little bit with some of them and that was always nice and again that water stop took forever and I stopped for trail magic and sat and talked with people and had a snack and a coke oh, it was nice gave me the energy I needed for the next part of the climb uh, <clears throat> so I will rest here for a little while and then I need to finish setting up camp and make dinner and all that good stuff and I definitely want to talk to y'all about dinner because um, my Aunt Sue has made me some dehydrated meals for dinner tonight and I think she's thinking about starting a business so I'll get to eat, at, eat that and make that and show you guys that I have some chili and some fresh shrimp that was dehydrated so that will be interesting. I'll let you know how that goes. This is just looking up from my hammock. And that will be the sunrise that way. And that way is the sunset. There's a little bit of a ridge. I'm just down from it. There's actually a little <laughs> fire pit right there, but I don't make fires. And it's like hot out, so I definitely won't be making a fire. Oh. Praying these trees all stay standing all night. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna be out here long because the bugs are driving me crazy. But this is the shrimp. I rehydrated really quickly. Just reach in. Okay. I should have shown it to you before, but it was all dehydrated. Now it's back to life. Mm. Tastes like shrimp. <laughs> I like shrimp plain, but you could bring cocktail sauce or something else to dip it in. It's good. 
these bugs. So, never would have thought of dehydrating shrimp for the trail. The chili is still cooking. I don't know if you can see the bugs. Again, they're really bad, so I'm, I need to walk when I eat, but I just wanted to show you the chili. It looks different than how I do chili, but it's a slightly different color, but it tastes good. Mm. It took a little while to actually get dehydrated, but I just went around and did some camp chores while I waited for it to cook. And now it tastes good. I want to read you uh, the poem that Emoji, the trail angel, gave me. Apparently she passes out these poems that she's written to hikers as they pass through. And I'm pretty sure one of them is the one that I saw, I saw um, on the trail in the past and read to everybody, but I will read them anyway. <sighs> it's good nighttime reading. Beauty Spot Gap. That is um, on another video. I've been there. Alone in the woods, such wonder occurred. For six minutes span, just silence I heard. No chipmunk or deer, no chirp from a bird, no rustle of leaves or through hiker's word. The whole of the wood was perfectly still as I looked around at valley and hill. No scratch of the ground, no click of a bill. No dew dropping sound or woodpecker's drill. As I contemplate, it's hard to describe the mercies of God and awe I ascribe to free flowing peace that I might imbibe. More laudable grace I could not prescribe. The mechanized world in all of its flair could scarcely have ministered healing repair. Twas God's quiet touch enraptured me there. Such stillness in life is precious and rare. Wow. Thank you so much, Emoji, also known as Marlene Simpson. Wow, oh, that's beautiful. All right, let me see the other side. He still considers me. He who holds the stars in space, incites astronomy, and charts the courses planets race, he still considers me. He who colors morning skies, turns thoughts to poetry, and etches wings of butterflies, he still considers me. He who gives the lion's roar, gives parrots mimicry, his sweetest stains and music pours, he still considers me. He whom hosts of angels praise with joy eternally, doth grant to life its length of days, and still considers me. He who high and holy reigns with grace and majesty, the whole creation he sustains, yet still considers me. He who hears the faintest cry, weighs all with equity, the answer to, dim to man's deepest why, he still considers me. He, the source of wisdom's flow, exalts humility, though fully he my heart doth know, he still considers me beautiful. Wow. Emoji slash Marlene Simpson. Thank you so much for giving me these and for passing these out. They definitely um, speak to my soul and my heart and they also match what I feel when I'm hiking 100%. So thank you. God bless. So I'm in my hammock. I'm not getting out of bed because I'm tired. And it's supposed to rain soon but the full moon is peeping just past the tree that I'm hanging from. So, happy April full moon from the woods.
is eight o'clock. I have just hit the trail and I'm so grateful that another hiker passed by just as I was putting my pack on, which means I don't have to hit the spider webs. Yay! Look at this. Obviously this looks like army camouflage. <laughs> oh, bug up my nose. Alright, happy trails and good morning. Got a John Denver song in my head this morning. <clears throat> I don't know if I should sing it. <laughs> uh, you fill up my senses like a night in the forest, like the mountains in the springtime. Like a walk in the rain, like a storm in the desert, like a sleepy blue ocean, you fill up my senses, come fill me again. <laughs> Always love those lyrics. It was a really cool thing about that song. Is, uh, I've always liked that song like honestly the very first record album I ever bought when I was a kid um, I saved up my money and bought John Denver's greatest hits so that's always been one of my favorites and then a couple of years ago um, I guess you call her a friend or a step aunt or something, I don't know what you would call her, but um, my stepmother's sister um, sent me a text just randomly and said that the Lord had been speaking to her and, uh, and put in her heart the song um, by John Denver. So it was really neat to, to think now that that's kind of the Lord singing to me and he knew that I would get it. So now I sing it back to him. All right, looks like I got some hikers up ahead, so I'm going to get off the video. All right. Yes, that's another blaze. Love those things, but I also have something else to show you. Oop, what do we have here? The Tennessee-Virginia State Line. Woohoo! I am going to be in two states at once. Yay! <laughs> Welcome to Virginia. Now I'm there. All right, well, I'm officially in Virginia and I stopped there for about half an hour at the state line to address my feet, <clears throat> apparently 60, whatever, however many miles I've been was a little bit much pushing my feet yesterday. I have a bunch of blisters this morning, um, so not looking forward to the 1,340 foot descent into Damascus from here. Um, I'm hoping that uh, my blisters will um, not give me too much trouble. I haven't had blisters on my toes um, since I bought these shoes, so I don't know why today was any different, but I've got my under pinky blister, a big toe blister on both feet, my arch blisters, and the side of the heel blisters <laughs> on both feet, but mostly the right. So, 
anyway wish me luck <laughs> uh, but just like we were just in two states at once I am also in two states at once both joy and pain <laughs> both um, you can experience both at the same time so as I'm walking now I'm starting to feel a little bit better once you stop and put your shoes back on it kind of hurts more for the first little bit but Got lots of bandages on and cushioning. Um, three and a half miles to go. All right, <clears throat> Rachel, my friend Rachel, this section is for you. Look at all the grapevines. We could have a blast swinging around in here. <laughs> well, but all right, that was for you. have time to watch you anymore. Pretty little mossy area. If you know anything about me, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I love moss. Oh, look at this. Let's see if I can squat down and show. It's a little forest. It's probably not going to focus. Wow, so pretty. Like we have a little switch back here. I can hear. I'm not sure if it's river noise or traffic noise. I think it's traffic noise. So that is Damascus down below. Oh, I can't see it from here. Look at these. I love these navy ferns. This one's already opening. That one is a perfect curve. Look at that. So pretty. Huh. All right. I have made it to the edge of town. Woohoo! <sighs> Maybe hurts. <laughs> oh, we got some doggies. I can see white blazes on that post, on that tree, on the post over there, and I'm headed towards the flags. 